All right, so we're gonna veer off the regular path of our videos and have a quick chat about electrifying vehicles and how that works with split fire. Now, this is a Tesla, it's my mom's car. It's a great little vehicle for her. You know, she's had it for a couple of years and she has very little complaints. And this thing is quick. For a grocery getter, just over four and a half, I think it's just over four seconds, zero to 60. You can beat a lot of stuff that is worth a lot more than this little car here. So it's a lot of fun to zip around with. In the shop, we use a Yale forklift. It's electric. It is fantastic as well. You know, very little maintenance. You're probably wondering, well, how does this have to do with split fire? We're actually gonna head up to our friends at Stauffer Ford in Tilsonburg, and they're lending us a Ford Lightning pickup truck and a Ford F-150 Power Boost that we're gonna try to run an electric log splitter with. So we've always been big Ford people. I love my Ford F-350, just ordered a fresh one from them as well. That's from Stauffer's, which they've been great to us. And so we're gonna whip over there, pick up those two trucks, and let's try split some wood. All right, so here we are, Ford Lightning. Yeah, pickup truck, fully electric. And this is a Ford F-150. Now this is a hybrid with a power boost. So battery in conjunction with the gas motor. Now, optimally, we wouldn't be beside my shop where I have power, I'd be out in some field, but it rained a lot and these are not my trucks and I'm not gonna get them super muddy. So we're gonna do the testing here and uh, we'll see how these work. Now the cool thing is, is on both trucks, we have a couple options. We have a 240 30 amp and we got two plugs that are 120 20 amps now that'll work perfectly for this splitter it'll run on a 15 amp circuit but 20 is always better because you can get a little tougher on the wood or you can get a longer extension cord if you wish to do so but shorter extension cord is always better so as far as wood i think this is some of the alum that we had before this stuff's been drying for two years so not the easiest stuff to split but it'll work great for the video we have and here we have our little 1165 electric like i said 115 with a 15 amp circuit and uh, we'll go ahead and get it set up here for a quick second and we'll be good to go now just keep in mind this thing comes with a heavy gauge extension cord that is a 25 footer and anything to do with electronics the longer the extension cord the more amps it's going to pull so it's important to use the extension cord we provide if you do need to go with a longer extension cord, just be prepared that it might pull too many amps and you could end up tripping the breaker. So just keep that in mind. And there you go. Our 1165 is ready to go. And so it's pretty simple. Plug it in, turn the truck on, hit the green button. When you release it, you'll hear a slight click. And from there, it should be as simple as firing up the splitter. Away we go. Now you're probably wondering, that is a hybrid. What happens when the battery gets low? From what we can understand on our research online is that if the power boost battery gets low, that uh, the truck will automatically start the engine. And even if that engine's running, you know, charging the battery or providing power to the outlets, like let's say you're north and you're, you know, you're at a cottage that's off grid or something like that. The engine in that truck will run about half a gallon of fuel every hour, we figure, somewhere in that range. So, you know, that's about, what, two liters, somewhere there for us Canadian folks. So even if that truck was running, it would cost you about three bucks an hour or four bucks an hour, depending on price of fuel, of course. But let's just say on the expense side, four bucks an hour to run that truck on this splitter which it's pretty economical like you know uh it's not a ton of money to run this thing for an hour so
there you go. So just after, that was what, maybe five minutes of splitting, power boost probably feels like she's getting a little low and it's already clicked on the engine. So if we're splitting for maybe three hours, this thing will idle for three hours well, but that three hours will cost us 12 bucks. So not too bad and it works really good. Now we're splitting Elm here and Elm is not the easiest split. It's probably on the more difficult side of the spectrum. So this electric engine here, oh, it just turned back off. So it what, it ran for 10 minutes there, must have charged the battery, and it's got enough juice now to run probably for another 10 minutes while it's off. So interestingly enough, that truck might cycle on and off while we're running this, which is really cool. So probably cost you less than three bucks an hour considering it's gonna be off half the time. All right, so we plugged it in, Turn the truck on, green button. When you release the green button, you should hear that slight click again, probably a breaker in here that's uh, you know, enabling the circuit. And should be able to turn it right on, hopefully. Hey, boom. Now we have the power diagnostics up on the screen. So as I'm splitting, we'll get a shot of that too to see how many watts this is pulling at a no load and also when I'm splitting LM2, which can be pretty full load sometimes. So we just checked that screen there on the power diagnostics and it looks like the max it'll pull is what, 2200, 2300 watts, which is pretty good considering it has 3600 available. That means we're not maxing the system too much and uh, yeah, it could probably run this a long time. We'll see what the battery draws and see what that battery looks like after 15, 20 minutes of splitting. Man, truck looks good. I'm really impressed. I'm really impressed. I am actually genuinely impressed. I, uh, you know, electric trucks and maybe hybrids are not for everybody. I'll stick with my 350 because I'm towing, you know, a lot of times I'm using my truck. But for people that are, you know, maybe living in a rural area where they're just using a truck to tow smaller trailers, you know, they're not using it for heavy duty, consistent use. A truck like this makes a lot of sense. And with these options, you could use it for a splitter like this maybe charging batteries for, you know, yard equipment, um, all kinds of stuff it could be useful for. So pretty cool technology. If you have questions about this log splitter with the electric motor option, or maybe any of other machines with the electric motor option, uh, maybe you're putting it on one of these trucks or you have a different truck, uh, you can give us a call at the office and we can answer some questions or you can see more specs and details at split-fire.com. Big thanks to Stoffer Motors for lending us these two trucks for a couple hours. And I'm excited to pick my truck up in maybe a couple weeks there, hopefully. So, uh, you know, if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. And if you got something interesting to say, leave us a comment below. We'd love to see what your thoughts are. Have a good one.